All right, so I finally uh, I got a chance to be a consumer more. <laughs> um, totally in a uh, vicious cycle of being a consumer with guns, but you know it. Uh, that short-term happiness really has a an addicting quality about it. But uh, I got some Terran Tactical stuff. So first time I've ever had anything from Terran Tactical. Seems really high quality. Seems just as nice as everyone says it is. I got two mag extensions for one for my Glock and one for my uh, CZ. The one for the Glock needed the extra spring, so I got the long spring. And then the one for the CZ, funny, funny, funnily, <clears throat> funny enough, <laughs> uh, is actually not for the compact mags. It's for the 17, 18 round mags. And uh, I gave it a shot because I really wanted this look on this. CZ and these are all clear um, and it fits so you've got this little gap at the bottom but I mean honestly it's negligible I was really butthurt about that at first because I really wanted a look like that uh, it just looks like it continues up into the grip which this just looks fucking insane to me and I'll mention that later kind of get into that in detail but I'm not mad at it anymore and I'm hoping, I'm really hoping I can get the optics cut I want on this. It's not available anymore. And uh, I was told to email the people that run the company, and I did. I'm waiting to hear back. I told them that I'd be a good boy, I'd install everything right, and I wouldn't fuck anything up, and I promise not to claim uh, damages. <laughs> Uh, not that they damage guns, that's just uh, apparently they've had an issue with um, when people get their guns back, installing the optics and stuff wrong on the plate, bending the plate, um, and then they warranty the work because they're fucking mega based, even though their stupid customers are fucking up, and he said they're just breaking even on them, so there's no point, and they uh, stop doing them, but I'm seeing if they'll make an exception. I work with a gunsmith. I work at a gun shop. I told them that I've got access to any kind of torque specking tools that I need. And, um, yeah, so hopefully they'll make an exception and do my P01 because I really need a fucking optic on this because I don't know if y'all see what's going on here, but holy fuck, this thing looks fucking good. It is wet as shit too. I gotta wipe that off real quick. I gotta have that solid matte finish on there real quick. Hang on. And I'm in my kitchen right now. I know I change, uh, hang on, I'm just going to do this off camera. I know I change locations where I make videos every fucking video, but honestly, I still don't know what the fuck works best for me. At first, you know, or I think the coffee table and the black mat is cool and I like that, but fuck, I hate setting it all up. And then the kitchen is so easy, but I have this fucking super fucking G-Watt countertop, <laughs> countertop, like straight from 2001 and, uh, yeah, so, I don't know, we'll figure it out. Honestly, I kind of like the kitchen more because I can stand up, and this is just really easy to reach around the camera. There we go. There we go. I, but, yeah, what I was going to say is, I don't know if y'all see what the fuck's going on here, but this may be the best-looking gun on the planet, and if you can imagine it with a fucking RMR, because I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Glock, but I'm going to take the RMR off this. I'm going to take my 507C off my dagger, put it on this, and then I'm going to get a 407A3 for my dagger like I have on my girlfriend's dagger because that dot is crisp as fuck and I don't know if it's because it's new and I'm not used and I'm used to my older dots on my pistols that I carry all the time but fuck man that thing I just pulled it out of the bag because she doesn't carry yet we're still figuring out how that's going to work with her and her job it's it's tough but I won't get any any of that but man I pulled that dot out and it was so crisp and the window is so big and it's just clean with no solar panel on top and, uh, yeah, I'm not going to go get it. I want to, but I'm not going to start all that and have 17 and a half guns on the counter. But, yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, the CZ, like I said, I don't know if y'all see what I'm seeing here, but fuck me. I mean, that's fucking, that looks fucking great. And this matte Terran Tactical base pad. And, uh, obviously, with the way these Terran Tactical base pads work, I'm on the edge of fucking disaster here. With this pin and that land, lanyard loop, so I don't know. I can't. I haven't decided if I'm going to grind that down or if I'm going to get a different plug. Probably going to get a different plug because I don't know, man. I'm I'm comfortable doing some stuff with guns and stippling and shit, but this is kind of a hang up for me. I don't know. I haven't decided, but 
Once that's cut off, obviously this will engage all the way that pin. And just to give you an idea of what that looks like, it just, and man, when I said I'm on the edge of disaster, you guys, oh, fuck, I'm past the edge of disaster, brother. There we go. There we go. Hang on. Hang on. There we go. So that's what it's supposed to look like. Fuck me, man. Yeah, well, I guess I need to do something about that sooner than I realized. But yeah, so that that looks good. And uh, all right, moving on. And see, that's not as bad now because it's kind of pushed up. That's oh, probably not good. I'll get to that later. Okay, anyway, on to the Glock. So I ordered these at the same time. This was a blim. It was on sale. This is the, fuck man, plus four for the 17 round mags or something for the full size mags. And, oh yeah, capacity on this, so far I've gotten 17. This is supposed to be a plus four for the 17 and 18 round mags. So, kind of confused. Maybe it's just something to do with the spring. Um, but yeah, I'm getting a plus two with this, which is honestly fucked up because this is a huge base pad. And uh, <laughs> the factory one... Does not come, you know, it comes out to like the bot, the top of where this base pad actually starts. So, uh, or you see, I mean, it, the it comes yeah, exactly where that is. That's exactly where it starts because this is a regular mag with base pad on it. Duh, fucking idiot. But you know what I'm saying? Like a plus two, that's huge for a plus two. That's definitely like a plus five, plus four sized extension. So. You know, maybe it's, I haven't broken it in. Maybe I could figure something out. I actually haven't shot this yet. So I don't even know if this mag is going to fucking work. This base pad with the stock spring. We'll see. I'm not carrying this right now with this mag in it. Don't worry. So onto the Glock, like I was saying, that was a blim. It's like a plus five. This holds 22, I think. So fuck, I think. I just counted it. I can't fucking remember. It's 22 or 23. So it's a plus five ish. And obviously, see, and there, there you go. There's a plus five versus a plus four. I don't know. Now that I see them next to each other, maybe I'm an idiot. Hang on. This just looks huge coming out of the bottom of the CZ. I don't know, man. I mean, y'all see it, right? Yeah, these are like pretty fucking comparable in size. And this is a plus five versus a plus two. Damn, those look good together. Look at that. It's like... So... I mean, and I mean, I know, you know, I said, I don't know if y'all see this. I know y'all fucking see this shit. I know y'all see how good this fucking thing looks. So, like I said, this was a blim. So, it was on sale. And the blim is, it's a Nevesky collab. You can buy these on Nevesky's website, Terran Tactical, Nevesky, Mag Extensions. I think they're like 50 bucks, which I'll have to look that up. Don't quote me on that. But if they're 50 bucks, then I could have got one that's not a blim for the same price as I got this fucking blim for. Anyway, I think it's because that's not centered. I haven't measured it. Eyeballing it, maybe a little bit off center. Fuck, I don't know, man. Now that I'm looking at it, I guess a little bit to the right, but like, is that enough for a blim? Maybe. That's the only thing I can find, possibly. I thought at first it was a finish because, you know, I got this one. This is not a blim. This is a super matte, super dull. It almost feels like it's got like a rubberized coating. It's so matte. And then this one's like a semi-gloss. And this is like, got the little ribs you can kind of see. But um, it's not. This is just a regular black coating. And this is their flat black or matte black. Um, but yeah, that's the only thing I can think of that's a bloom. Maybe off-center there. But yeah, this is a... Uh, this is Oh, shit. Also, when I ordered, uh, they got me on like a... Uh, on like, uh, hey, <laughs> if you like this, you might also like, um, and which this is not something I'd usually like. And damn, they're like tarnishing already from carrying for like a day. Hang on. <sighs> Hang on. Let me see if I can like bring these back to life real quick. I've got some gun oil right there. That might do it. I'm going to rub my witness marks off. Hang on, let me see. They're purple uh, optic screws, but obviously, you see how dull that is? See how they're purple in the middle? That's what they looked like when I first put them in, like all the way around. Um, maybe it's the Sharpie like smearing around on them. But I'm normally not a huge fan of anything anodized, anything flashy colors like that. But it's so subtle. And honestly, I think when I put that RMR on this, I'm going to keep those purple screws if they're the right length. If not, whatever. I'll just use the ones that are. But, um, which probably, 
now that I think about it, probably not going to be able to use those. So, um, that kind of sucks, but I was going to put it on this and have that like little bit of flair on the, anyway, this, should, this gun just deserves all the vibe shit. Like this one deserves the shit. That's why I'm putting the RMR on this. This is the best gun. This is best gun. Like 17 is like best gun, but this is like best gun. Like this is the one I want to carry all the time. This is the one that fits the best in my hand. This is my smoothest one. This is the one that, you know, I want to have all the cool shit on. I think this looks the best with it. Um, you know, polished barrel. I don't know. So that's why I want to go with like, maybe I'll find some other optic screws that, uh, are also purple or something for that. But normally, like I said, don't really like that kind of thing, but that's subtle enough and, uh, it's tearing tactical. So it's not like, you know, they're pretty based. Uh, <clears throat> I got to put some fucking, some oil on these uh, optic screws and see if I can get these back to life. Cause they look so much better. And maybe if I'm not lazy, I'll insert a picture here of what they looked like right when I put them in. Cause I was super stoked to get them in and uh, took a bunch of pictures of them. But I mean, when am I not doing that? Let's be real. Get real, man. If y'all know what that's from your OGs. Not my chia, not my problem. That's what I say. Um, yeah, no, that didn't help at all. That actually probably made it worse. Um, damn. You know what? These $12 fucking optic screws probably not worth it, guys. <laughs> probably better off just taking a fucking paint pen and touching them. Fuck, socks, chill out. My cat fucking... My cat loves it when I pull my guns out. She literally will come and lay on them. And I know it's just for attention, right? Like, she's, she's seeking attention... And taking, trying to take it from the gun because I'm sitting here just like playing with it and petting it and stuff. <laughs> but she's always around when I'm when I got the gats out. Uh, yeah, you know, I don't know, I don't know. Yeah, now that I see these, I mean, they look more purple in person for sure. The camera's not doing it justice. But fuck, that really sucks. Look, the the fucking tops of them just look gray. That one looks blue on the inside too, and that one looks purple. I'll definitely post a picture real quick of what they look like. All right, 1230. I got to remember that. That's the timestamp where I need to post the picture up. And so here's the picture. Here's what they look like when I first put them in. Maybe there's a way to seal these like this. Maybe some like um, CLP instead of like Lucas gun oil, which is what I'm currently using. But And uh, the last thing, the last thing, which I mean, fuck, let's just admire this one more time. You know, and this is clear. That's clear. And I think I am going to move this to a Gen 5 mag. Well, I guess this is a Gen 5 mag, but I have a Gen 5 mag with an orange follower. And I got to have that orange follower. Man, that's smooth as fuck. Vickers extended controls. Well, factory OEM Glock extended mag release and Vickers slide release. But let's drop that mag. Oh, it's so smooth. I can never get over how smooth this is for what it is. I just feel like it shouldn't be that smooth. And I mean, if we're going to do it with the clock, we got to do it with the CZ. Let's go ahead and cock that. Is, whew, like, like the sound difference, dude. And they're so satisfying in their own way. Like definitely more like clunky, but in between so smooth and then definitely more refined and ooh, ooh, but in between so smooth. You can hear, kind of hear that metal on metal, like this is from the machining. Uh, it's probably got the spring probably has a lot to do with that as well but i just like that i like all the noises this kind of shit works. but yeah the, the last thing and this is uh super cringe right now the way i have this rifle set up but i finally got a free float handguard for my ar and got a midwest industries got a good deal on it got a really good deal on it put it on myself first time i've ever done a gas block first time i've ever done a barrel nut uh I'm really glad I didn't take a video of how I did it because, I mean, I wouldn't have posted it anyway because it was terrible, but I'm going to try and get this to the range this weekend, make sure my barrel, I didn't ruin anything, <laughs> and make sure this rifle can actually maintain accuracy after the questionable gunsmithing I did to this thing because I'm impatient and can't wait to take it to my actual gunsmith. And then I got the fucking Boomer LPVO, the two to, two and a half to seven Nikon Monarch on here. Just because I never got to shoot with it the first time, and it looks cooler with this setup currently 
than it did before. Also, uh, got some new parts back here. I got a new castle nut and a new end plate with a QD attachment and a uh, trigger, LaRue MBT. But yeah, this thing is sweet. Super excited to go shoot it. Probably gonna go shoot Saturday, so I'll probably uh, make a video, like a post-range video, just to uh, kind of go over with y'all and myself so I can re reference back and see how this did because that's something I want to start doing. I, start, I want to start doing like post range day videos and uh, you know, for everyone, but also or like to post online, but also so I can reference and uh, kind of see how something performed because I, I think I tend to kind of glorify stuff in my head after I shoot it. Like, you know, I know, I know I've done it with like all my pistols. Every time I shoot, I'm like, that's the best, that's the best, that's the best. But, um, you know, if I can be honest and, and do a uh, post range report, um, I think I'd like, I'd get a better idea of what I actually like more. And I, I do think this is my favorite, but I mean, that may change. I, I'm biased for sure. So yeah, so, yeah. maybe a post range video Monday sometime. Cause I'm should be going Sunday. So we'll see, but that's pretty much it. I'm about to run out of memory on my phone anyway. So, um, thanks for watching and, uh, maybe I'll take some footage at the range, but anyway, all right. See you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.